Kale, Brandon, I know never the finish you want to the season. Uh, Kale, we'll start with you. Just kind of walk us through the emotions right now. Well, we were playing for more than ourselves. Um, as a group, we faced a lot of adversity throughout the years, and being able to come out here and ha have something the community can rally again, like rally behind, it shows a lot of what we're trying to do here at Creston. Not just be great now, but leave a legacy for people to remember for years to come. And this year really showed that we're playing for more than ourselves and the people within this football team are playing for the community, the people who support us, and the people who played before again, before us. I mean, a lot of what he said, seeing that community out there, being able to know that we made an impact on all those kids that are striving towards the same goals we are, it's amazing to see everyone there and just everyone rooting for us. It's great to leave that kind of legacy. Brandon, offensively, you had some nice runs, but it never felt like you were able to like get in a rhythm. What were they doing defensively, and, and what, what are kind of your thoughts on the ground game today? I mean, their D-line played really well. It, they shut us down as best, as best they could, and they definitely played great. And we, I broke off a couple, but nothing huge, and they just played really well up front, I, I would say. Kale, kind of like a similar thing with the passing game. Uh, what were they doing defensively in the passing game that allowed you not to get comfortable? They just kept dropping back, taking away kind of the deep threat which is kind of part of our offense. When you take that away, it really limits what we're trying to do, especially when they took away the running game as effectively as they did. But the short game was there, and we kept hitting on that. But sooner or later, you're going to have to have one of those big plays, and we didn't really we didn't get that today. How were you feeling going to that final drive? I was feeling confident. It started off pretty well, and then as the, game went, as the drive went on and as the theme of the game really, just kept hurting ourselves with penalties, getting outside of the sticks, and... It's never a recipe for success. When you reflect on the season, what's going to stand out to you guys? The brotherhood and the family we've created here. It's not just about football for us. It's about the relationships and the connections we've created throughout the year, throughout the years and this year specifically. It was just fun, fun to leave. Yeah, the whole family that was here as a team, I'll never forget these, the moments that I've had with these guys. It was a fantastic season. I'll look back on this fondly and remember all the great wins we had, even though this lost things right now, but I'll look back on the season. Quinn Olsen, Ricky Photo, big for healing today and a win over Creston. Uh, gentlemen, you guys get to play for a state championship next week. How does that sound? Uh, sounds great. Sounds awesome. Yeah, I'm more excited than I can explain right now. Look back to you know, two years ago, this was a team that was 0-9 and three wins over the last three years. That's probably not something you guys think about much, but for you guys to make the growth that you have into a championship game, what does that say about what you guys have been through over the last couple of years? Um, just shows that, you know, we've had to go through adversity last our whole high school career. And uh, through the good, the bad, and the ugly, we just had to stay, stay the course, uh, keep doing what we do. We knew that we had everyone that we needed. We just had to put the pieces of the puzzle together. And uh, this year, that's what we've done. Yeah, that's, he basically summed it up. We, we knew we had all the pieces. And we knew we had everything there. We've been so close the last two years before this. And this year it's all clicking and we're figuring our stuff out. Another one possession uh, playoff win. Are you guys kind of right at home comfortable in those close tie games? Uh, I would say, yeah. We, we trust our defense. We trust our offense. We know we can put points on the board. We know we can stop teams, especially a very explosive Crescent offense that we sh stopped to, or kept up to 13 points today that's I believe in our defense and I think our defense will win championships. Ricky you were of course a big part of the ground game uh, and it seemed like you guys were just able to control the pace all day. Tell me about the rushing attack and about the offense as a whole. Uh, we knew going into this game that we were a running team and this week of practice we just that's all we worked on. We hammered the ball down their throats and that's where our game plan was, and that's what we did. Quinn, speak to, of course, as a quarterback, you've got a major role in that, but speak to kind of the offensive game plan that you guys had and how it played out today. Yeah, obviously, like Rick said, uh, we knew that we had to control the time of possession, control the ball, keep that Creston offense off the field. And the first half, we did a very good job of that. Uh, second half, Creston made some adjustments that really slowed us down, but we just had to uh, trust one another, trust the play call, uh, and execute to our fullest. Thoughts on the defense today? Uh, outstanding. outstanding. We did a great, great job. All 11 uh, stop. Very explosive Creston offense. Uh, puts a lot of points on the board. Held them to 13 points. And uh, that's why we won that game. What's it going to take going forward now? 
Uh, everything we got, we just got to empty the tank. Uh, one week left for our high school career, for us seniors. So we just got to leave it all out and hopefully come out with the win next week. Coach, uh, I, I know this probably stings at the moment. Just, you know, what what, were, what was the message to the guys? You know, you know, it, it hurts. There's nothing I can say that's gonna that's gonna fix it. Um, you know, th they left a legacy this year. Um, you can see that from the stands and our crowd. And uh, it's gonna hurt tonight. It's gonna hurt a lot. But you know, at the end of the day, they're gonna wake up tomorrow and they've accomplished something that Crescents never have, um, as far as their record and the teams they've played and and how they played the game of football. They battled tonight against a really good football team and, and had a shot. Um, and we just didn't, just didn't finish it. But um, that's not an end to a, um, a bad season. It's a tremendous season. So we're going to celebrate that. Um, you know, it hurts, obviously. But they had to look past the last game and the entire finished product. And I'm proud of the kids for what they did this year. Felt like uh, just never could like get in a rhythm. Did, is that an accurate assessment? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're playing behind the sticks, and you know, I, you know, I, I told people throughout the weeks, um, from week one to week twelve, that you know you can't do that against really good teams, especially when you get to the, the final four in the semis, and and we did that. We still gave ourselves a chance um, in the second half, and uh, we had momentum going our way. I thought in the fourth quarter, and you know, but when it comes down to it, you know, our kids played the game um, extremely well, extremely hard um, with their effort, and. And I, I think we can hang our hats on that as a football team this year. That final drive, is there anything you're going to look back on and, and, and kick yourselves over? Or, I mean, I'm sure it's all kind of fresh right now, though, too. Yeah, down, I mean, down in drives, that the last drive really summarized, you know, the game. If you look at it, uh, you know, we were playing behind the sticks. And, you know, we're trying to get chunk yardage in short times. And you can't do that when you keep backing up the, um, the sticks. And, and we did that, unfortunately. But, uh you know, the effort was there. Um, it's just one of those deals where we had a shot with three minutes, I thought, to drive and to win the game. And we've had a lot of opportunities this year where it went our way, and tonight it didn't. Defensively, what did they do uh, that you gave, they gave your offense troubles at times? Their defense? Yeah. Well, I mean, their defense is physical up front. I mean, obviously, they got great athletes in the, in the back end, in the secondary, and the li linebackers are, are really good fill on. So, I mean, we went against a really good defense tonight. And, uh, you know, we had opportunities, um, you know, to, to, to move the ball. We just got behind the sticks and we had a punt. But uh, give them credit. Um, you know, they're a really good football team. So be excited to see what they do in the finals against two other good football teams playing later tonight. As you mentioned, heck of a season. Uh, I know it hurts in the moment, but as you reflect on it, what's going to stand out? Just, you know, just the season as a whole, if you look at the big picture of it, you know, what they've accomplished and, and what they fought through and, and uh, you know, the team we became over the summer and, um, you know, just I, I think the biggest thing is we're going to miss, um, you know, Mondays, to, and Monday through Thursdays. We're, we're going to miss those because uh, this is a great group. You, you're you excited for the weekend of prep and plan and, and knowing the kids are going to come back and give us their best effort. And that's one thing that you'll never see from our kids is given lack of effort. They always have um, tremendous effort. All right, Coach, uh, what a game, what a win, uh, and your team is now playing for a state title. What are the thoughts right now? Uh, just amazed, really, at how far these guys have come and what the things they've overcome in the last, uh, you know, these seniors going into this year, winning three games in the last three years. Just really quite amazing that it shows their character and their, you know, the integrity of these kids and how hard they want to work and how bad they wanted to be coached and how wet, bad they wanted to win. And that was, that was a heck of a football game. I and mean, it's just it really a hell of a game. And, you know, just talk to coach. Any team could have won that very easily. And Creston had one wor world of its season. You know, my hat's off to them. They played outstanding football. And just, uh, just really happy, you know, and understand we still got work to do. We still have goals in front of us. And we got one left. And hopefully we can check that off next week. What do you feel was the difference for you guys today? Uh... Just execution, you know, that's really what we've been wanting to do all year. We didn't execute as well the second half offensively like we wanted to, but we came out first half and played pretty well, I thought. But, uh, you know, just we have to be able to stay on schedule, and we did, we got a little bit behind the chain second half, but uh, came out and played good the first half. We need to get better and, get to, and, and finish games. 
felt like you guys were able to control the tempo throughout the day. Uh, how big was that? Well, I think it was huge in our part, and, it, and that's what we tried to do because uh, of so many of our guys going both ways, and they have very few, you know, very, they don't have anybody going both ways. So we had to be able to control that tempo and, and slow the game down, so to speak. So we, you know, tried to be able to get out of gas by the end, and they damn near got us there. So. Thoughts on the defense today? I mean, to hold a Creston team like that to 13 points, that's, that's a really good showing. Pretty outstanding. Pretty outstanding. Very happy with them. Those guys are dynamic on offense, and obviously they scored a lot of points on a lot of people. So uh, really happy for them. And, uh, you know, understand that we have a, another big task ahead of us and looking forward to next Friday. For this group, you look back to, I mean, two years ago, 0-9, to get a chance to play for a state title. What does that say about them? Just great kids. Great kids that just, you know, or above anything, great guys really wanted to win. Just needed a little, you know, little little push in one direction, and they grabbed a hold of it and took off. What's it going to take? A whole team effort, just like it's taken all year. So that's what it is. 